Hey guys, welcome back, and it's that time again where uh, Dollar Tree's putting out their uh, Black Friday deals for movies. Um, it's been kind of hit or miss for me in the past week or so. I've only been able to find um, two locations that actually had new stuff out. Everything else was just old. So what I'm sharing today is a mix of new and old, mostly new. Uh, I only have 29 titles here to show today. So I'm just gonna dive right on in. I'm gonna do the DVDs first. Uh, first one here is, um, I've already already owned this movie, so I picked it up for anyone who wants it, and that is the Clove Hitch Killer. Fantastic movie, can't recommend it enough. Uh, Dylan McDermott plays a great villain in this film, so definitely, if you guys are interested, let me know. Uh, a lot of these are uh, Echo Bridge releases that I found today, unfortunately, but, you know, a dollar is better than 10 or 15. Uh, so we have uh, Cerebrum here, uh, James Russo, Christian James, and Alexis Lemire. Lemire. I don't know too much about it, but it was put out this year, so that's always not a good sign if you're... Your movie goes from Walmart to uh, Dollar Tree in a matter of months. So, mm, so this one's like two hours long, so we'll see. It's like a sci-fi thriller. I'm sure it doesn't get great reviews, but if you guys seen any of these, let me know. This one for sure I know is probably bad. This one was also put out this year. That is uh, Chinese speaking vampires. Uh, this one's only 80 minutes, and it looks pretty bad, so, I mean, I like my cheesy vampire movies, but this one's probably not good. Uh, this one is not a horror. This is, uh, like a suspense thriller. It looks kind of like a, uh, sort of like a heist movie. Yeah, this might even be a heist movie, from what it looks like. Uh, the Wolf Pack, put up by Magnolia. Uh, this is from 2015, uh, 89 minutes. Could be good. Uh, it does not credit anybody in here. Oh, this is a documentary. Okay. So I definitely don't really know anyone in here. But looks looks like an interesting movie. And, uh, next one here is another Echo Bridge release from 2016, and that is uh, Flight from Hell, Dead on Arrival, starring uh, Ed West. Sorry, uh, Ed Westwick and Zuzu. I don't recognize either either one of those people. Mm. Uh, oh, this is about an entity on a plane, so could be good. Who knows? Uh, next one here is an ROJ Entertainment release called Dead West Revenge Never Dies. Uh, obviously, it's like a it's like a modern day western. Yeah, it looks like more of a modern western. Uh, starring Brian Sutherland, Megan Karimi Nassar, and Jeffrey Arrington. 114 minutes from 2015. Uh, it looks okay. I'm sure it's just an okay, mediocre type movie, but we'll give that a watch. Uh, another Echo Bridge. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, this is... Uh, this is for digital media, probably similar to Echo Bridge. Uh, Two Graves in the Desert with Michael Madsen, William Baldwin, Ivan Gonzalez, and Cassie Holworth. It is the Vegas road trip from hell, apparently. So, um, I don't know, it's got some, I guess you can say, uh, high dollar names, but not really. 
I mean, everyone pretty much who knows Michael Madsen and William Baldwin, but they're not top actors anymore, if they ever really considered before. Uh, 84 minutes from 2020. Uh, I don't know if I have this one or not. I don't think I do. This is... What year is this from? It doesn't even say what year it's from. Oh, no, 2019. 2019. Uh, this is The Haunting of Molly Bannister. Uh, put out by 101 Films. Uh, 78 minutes. Uh, don't want to mess with that girl. Creepy. It says it's a killer combination of Carrie and Child's Play. I, I, I seriously doubt it, guys. I seriously do. But I don't know. We'll see. It looks somewhat creepy. Uh, next up, we have another movie from this year, 2021, from Echo Bridge, and that is uh, Blind Ghost the Murder. Uh, starring Alex Villaret, Lindsay Serrera, Casey Graff, and Jeremiah Benjamin. Don't know any of those people. Uh, this is about uh, this girl getting, getting is set to getting an inheritance from her grandfather's $500 million estate. She has an accident that leaves her blind. If she had died, the money would have been split amongst her remaining family members. Detectives believe that someone in her family wants her dead, so she hires a private eye to suss out which of her relatives tried to have her offed, and so forth and so forth. So, uh, 2021, 20, 92 minutes. Uh, we'll see. I'm not, I don't have high hopes for this one either, but it looks interesting, to say the least. Uh, next up is another Echo Bridge title, uh, Kill Another Day, It's Your Life or Theirs, uh, 2017, 83 minutes, I don't recognize anybody in the cast, David Michael Moot, Raven Kelsons, Timothy Paul McCarthy, Charlie Hamilton, Rich Patakowski, and Carly Legrand. No, I don't know anybody in there. Uh, this is like, like a apocalyptic zombie movie, apparently. That's what it looks like on the back, anyway. I don't know. Uh, another 2021 Echo Bridge release, and that is Life on the Rocks. Uh, they are they are all fighting to stay out of hell. Uh, well, I can tell you right now, Ray Wise is in this, but... He's probably in it for like five minutes. I'm sure. Uh, also starring Misha Pollock, uh, Ali Eisenman, Jeremy Walker, Pasha Saul, and Bonnie Bedelia. Uh, what is this about? Uh, bartending, a real estate agent who needs an update to update her skills, a Russian criminal who pur pur purports to sell favors, a hard-nosed cop and his sensitive partner, a man who isn't sure about his upcoming marriage, and an actress who pretends to be homeless and pregnant to make money on the side. So this is like a character piece. Eh, we'll see. I like certain character pieces, not everything, but... Uh, next up, we have uh, a movie called Agatha and the Truth of Murder. This is about Agatha Christie, uh, a young, a young, a young, a young version of Agatha Christie, uh, trying to help solve a real life murder case when a wealthy woman is found bludgeoned to death. Uh, who's in this? Anybody interesting? Sorry. It's very dark. I uh, don't recognize anybody in the cast. This is from 2018 and it is 92 minutes. This is put out by uh, Vision Films. Uh, 
This is from 2020, and that is The Haunting of Margam Castle, put out by uh, Ford Digital Media, 82 minutes. Uh, looks kind of creepy. This is apparently based on a true story, so you got that going for it. Uh, this is a British film uh, about a castle in Wales that's apparently haunted. So it might be good. I've seen that some people find this one, 47 Hours to Live, from 2018, also put out by 4 Digital Media in 91 minutes. Uh, this is kind of like um, Haunted, by another Haunted app, just like, um, uh, what the heck was it called? Uh, it's drawing a blank, uh, Countdown. I, I actually enjoyed Countdown for what it was, so. Don't have high hopes for that one. Uh, next up, we have another 2021 release from Devil Works. Uh, this is sac uh, Sacrilege. 87 minutes. I do not recognize anybody in the cast. By name, let's see if there's a, it says what they were in. Also, uh, some of the some of the movies I've heard of, but I've never seen, so I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, and it's just about a summer solstice. Four young women are offered up as a sacrifice to a mysterious pagan goddess who has the ability to sense their greatest fears, turning their nightmares into reality. Yeah. It's probably not great. Looks kind of kind of cheap on the back there, but we'll see. And the last DVD here is uh, I already have this on Blu-ray. I got this for more for my brother than myself. Uh, uh, yeah, Encounter with Luke Luke Hemsworth, Tom Atkins, uh, Vincent M. Ward, Cheryl Texeria. This is from 2019, and this was put out by, can't tell, uh, Vega Baby, I guess that's what the name of the place the thing is. Okay, let's get into the Blu-rays. So a lot of these are stuff that I've already seen other people pick up. My brother picked up a few for himself for already so I put these for myself so I found Arizona Adopt a Highway uh, this is an old title Cuban Fury someone I guess they got opened in the process uh, sex tape Galveston welcome home with Aaron Paul and uh, Emily Radikowski as I say her last name uh, found it man three and gunpowder and I just I died I found a million copies of the new kids I already have it in my collection picked it up for the brother great movie can't recommend it enough and then the last four here are all echo bridge titles that everyone saw at Walmart at one point or another that are probably all really bad uh, we got Norman here from 2021. Yeah, I haven't heard anything good about this movie. But I only found one copy of this. Uh, Day of the Living Dead. Again, I haven't heard anything good about this movie. It's Thomas Churchill. His movies are okay. It's uh, not great. He's a good director, I just don't like the storylines and whatnot, but that is what it is with him. Uh, Dollface. And The Sneak Over. So, that's everything that I found at the Dollar Trees the past couple of days. Uh, again, I went to my local one today and they still don't have anything out, so I'll keep checking. Uh, probably won't have time to do it tomorrow. Uh, Friday I'm actually working but I'll probably check back in them after I get off and 
definitely check again on Saturday and Sunday. So if they don't have anything Friday. So here are my Blu-rays. And then here are the DVDs. So I'm gonna make another video right after this one. I got some Best Buy pickups and then some thrift store pickups and two shirts I wanna show off. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Dollar Tree pickups, hopefully coming in the next week. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.